Introduction to Human Theory. It's copyrighted. Here are the principles. We're going to start in a true vacuum, pre-Big Bang. We're going to arithmetize infinities, come out, show the three family of particles, why they exist, why they had the mass they do. We'll go from there, work on quantum gravity, dark matter, dark energy. So let's begin. My postulate is a, a true vacuum is, is unstable. Take two, uh, take the true vacuum, and let it have a, a relation between itself. We'll give the relation, the characteristics and traits of both of them. And let this interact further with the vacuum. And this leads to the Fibonacci sequence. So we could write it like this. Representing this, this, and then our R would be one one, and then this one one R would be two one. For those not familiar with the Fibonacci sequence, shows up in nature, shows up in the stock market, and we're going to use Fibonacci today to arithmetize pi and then E, and get the three family of particles. Okay. So, let's write it like this. Let's have our relation. Let's go ahead and supersymmetry to your fields is W neutral and B neutral. Those mix and create an electromagnetic force. So let's go ahead and jump ahead. And write that in there. Okay. These are all Fibonacci sequence. Okay. Okay. Starting with, uh, divide 21 uh, by 13 for me and give me all the digits. 1.61538461515. Okay. Yeah. okay, let's take these. These right here. Alright, how, how you want to approach this is forget everything you know about math. Act like an alien is teaching you math, somebody from a different planet. Because this math was 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 self-learned by me on death row for for 20 years. I, I self-taught myself uh, physics and math, so you're not going to find this anywhere. Um, so, and I touch upon a lot of things that are not supposed to be able to be possible. But my advice is never let nobody tell you what is possible. And I'm about to prove it to you why. Take 6 plus 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 8 plus 4 equals 27. Now give, give all these a position. Let these be the positions. Equals 6. Now remember this ratio. Okay. Now we're about to proof pi, or at least arithmetize it, a couple hundred digits deep. And then we're going to take that, we're going to show some beta radiation, and then we'll proof, uh, we'll proof E. Okay. Let's look at the digits. So. OK, 
Okay. Take pi. Uh, same way to, with the relations. We want to give these relations to infinity. So later you'll see that's what affinity is. Once you apply a ratio, ratio relations to affinity in, a, in the right manner, you, you can reconcile them. So let's just take 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, it's pi, put a relationship in there, 15. My symbol for that is that right there. Okay? So let's go on down and do this. Say three, go one, four, one, relationship 15, then you do foot five, nine, two, equals 61, and you lay it even line like this. And you give them positions, like the positions I told you. And that's 27 sixteenths. 27 over 6. What's the equivalent? 21 13. Now, do it again. Do the relations the same way. It's going to give you 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 1. Do positions once again. And that's going to be your next Fibonacci. And uh, do it once again. And that's going to be the 4, 8, 6, 7, 4, 1, 3, 6, 5, 2, 9, Two, two, six, two, five. Let's see if I got that right. Four, eight, six, seven, four, one, three, six, five, two, nine, two. Two, six, five, two, nine, two, two, six, two, five. Okay, there it goes. And we do this again. So we have 72 over 16 equivalent to, what is that, 55 over 34. Okay, that's just a couple hundred digits deep right there. And they will tell you that that's impossible. There are no patterns and affinities that are random. In this video, they'll never be able to say that again. Okay. Now, in, in physics, we have something called symmetry breaking. And when symmetry breaks, you want to pay attention. Basically, the symmetry changes, but it keeps the old symmetry at, at the same time. And this next one is very important. Because the next one is the Fibonacci. It's 89 over 55. Is I think it, what is it uh, nine over over two, okay? But the next set of numbers four eight four two, which equal what is that eighteen over two? So the positions let's call this positions changes by a multiple of two. And your next Fibonacci after this. 89. So with the symmetry changing, let's pay good attention to this, and this will add credence to this number we have when we get to uh, the number E. 
But first, let's take this rudimentary model and do beta, beta radiation with it. Okay. Let's take the same, same model. Let's do. It's going to be a multiple series of, of, of posts on X. So let's get in the habit of putting that in there right now. Okay. 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 Let's take right that right there. Now in quantum mechanics you have superposition, quantum entanglement. You see clearly from the true vacuum how the how the existence of the true vacuum stacks upon itself and it has relations that carries the characteristics of trait or traits all, all, all through the system. Also has something called superposition. And what that is ultimately as you look at as a true vacuum where before it comes big bang, that's really how the quantum the quantum entanglement all come into play. But right now let's just add a position to our to our B fields and our W's to uh, to do beta radiation. So let this be a superposition, superposition, and a superposition. So you have three one, nine five, and thirty five twenty one equals forty seven twenty one. Forty seven. And you add these up, add up the bottom or as we represented in the true vacuum as one over zero undefined. And the position would be zero over one. And we have ten and seventeen that make up the twenty-seven. Now I want you to visualize as this true vacuum has relations upon itself, it's unstable. Let these R's visualize them bending. Ultimately, till we have pi, which I showed you a couple hundred digits deep, uh, the odds of that happening by chance, I mean, we, we might as well not even talk about that. But imagine that getting closer and closer to my symbol for 315 before it reaches affinity. Okay? So, this right here will start bending. Okay? So, 20, so the position, let's call this position, uh, the position is going up. And multiply that times my symbol for 315, basically you got 148. Okay? 47, this analysis will be in multiples of a proton. You can treat it any kind of way you want with electrons. A lot of people use electrons. Through my analysis, as a natural philosopher, I found the proton is principal. I use multiples of a proton. In multiples of a proton, 47 is, is an up quark. Okay, so times that by three, three that'd be one, one, four, eight, and that makes a lot of sense when you start getting into a proton itself, because forty-seven up quark will have a, a, a value of two, three. Okay, and a down quark, which is multiples of, of a proton, would have one minus three. Okay, and that that basically goes back to our model right here. Should be 27 and 47 and 47. Okay, and that right there, 315 would be 148. But this actually relates credence to it. Once again, a multiple of a proton. If you take 315 and divide it by 27, 
you get what they call a W boson. Okay, and it's equivalent to H57, things 142, something like that. Now, from the W boson, the W boson lets go an electron, which would be our 17. Divide that by 315, that's basically equivalent to 54, and multiples of proton. And then you've got your neutrino, which is the 10. Now, later on, we'll go into reverse beta radiation and show why neutrinos gain some mass. Okay, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take E and show that this is true, the 47 times 315, 148. And so far, we have some evidence. But always follow the scientific standard. Never let nobody tell you anything. The scientific standard is investigate everything. Nothing is safe. If somebody tells you something, you investigate it because it's up to you to do the scientific method. People told me you couldn't arithmetize affinities. People told me you couldn't go past uh, 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 the Big Bang. Uh, you know, always investigate. People tell you, you know, there's, uh, there's nothing but randomness in the universe. We're going to get the probability, oscillators and why it exists, uh, among other things. But right now, let's go a couple hundred deep in E. And you remember our symmetry doubled right before 144. Eighty-nine, which you add them together, is two, three, three. And 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 arithmetic is the golden standard in math. When somebody shows you a big equations, it means they don't know what the hell they're talking about, and, and they'll, they'll truthfully admit it to you. That's why arithmetic that's, is a big branch split off of mathematics. Affinities with cancer sets, you know, other groups says, listen, you can't arithmetize it. It, it, it's not true to us, you know, and, and, and both sides are needed to get us to the point where we're at now. Okay, let's take that 233 three, and let's prove And we'll do other things in the future. Uh, Planck's constant. I'll show you why that exists, why uncertainty must exist. So basically, you take E, the beautiful number E, and just like pi, you take it. Okay? And actually, this is much stronger. Okay, so we have this. to do something. I don't want you to stop. This is just a starting point in this analysis on E. I want you to keep going. And I want to, I want to keep going to 301 for reasons I'll show you in a rudimentary model that we created. This really leads to due to the uh, the neutral W force versus the uh, the hyperfield, what they call neutral B. Now, I want you to keep going, and we'll reach the 58 position, and this will equal 301. Okay, now I want you to go to 127, and go to it's 603. Okay, I want you to take the 301 minus 58. And I want you to take 603 minus 127, 476. And I want you to take these. And we have the 
2233, which 14489. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're, keep, we're going to keep going until our positions become double times 2, because that's where our signature broke to 466. So we're going to do that and see what happens. Okay, we want to go to uh, 197, 264, and 906, 197, That's what we're looking for. 2104 minus 466 equals 1638. Let's take it one step farther. 528, 2418. Um, 528. 189.0. Now those in the physics realize that that's a type of quark. That's your top quark. The biggest quark you got in multiples of a uh, proton. Now what is this? Well, what that is, that's in the Thai family too. Times three one five equal sixteen thirty eight, and the reason that is is because this is actually this, and this is the same process of forty seven, well forty seven times three one five. And that's how you change the world, folks. But 